Hey guys, this is going to be a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I know it's been a minute. I've been losing residence, and so it's been a lot going on lately. But this is going to be a love message for you guys for the remainder of the month. Um, why we got some things trying to fall out, or I need to shuffle better one. But, um, again, about the message, take what fits. If it does not resonate do not try to make it fit it's mean it's just for someone else out there you might have to check your other placements um cross watchers you are welcome but take in mind that you know the role could always be reversed so it's just again take where it resonates this will be for virgo sun and rising venus see what's going on for the rest of the month for you guys so, so far, we have the Four of Discs that came out. We also have the Eight of Wands that came out. The Nine of Swords came out. And we also have the Four of Swords. So, that's pretty interesting. Um, let me see. So what we have now, um, there may be a, a situation that is feeling like it's been hard to let go and it, you may have felt like it may have blocked some things from moving and coming in in the past and it may have caused you a lot of stress uh, with this connection or with developing a connection. In the past, I see you did some healing here and it was because a lot of things that kind of burnt you out and you're trying to be stable. And so you've been kind of holding back and, you know, kind of made yourself a little miserable, you know, but at the same time, you, you know that, you know, if you want something that you're going to have to take action and, you know, go get it, say something. Um, you've been trying to get over a lot of stress and fears about this is what I'm definitely seeing. Um, bottom of the deck we have the King of Swords. So you've definitely been putting a lot of thought into this and planning and, you know, really trying to get everything connected and communicate what it is and, you know, figure it out. And, you know, you're taking the lead on this and you're just doing some fine tuning before you rush into anything. You may be dealing with someone, you may not. But right now, you're just trying to really get everything figured out. In the present moment, you are experiencing the Six of Swords. So you're trying to, you know, navigate to peaceful and cooler. I said cooler. Peaceful and it probably is a little cooler, but uh, calmer waters. And, you know, you probably left some things in the past that were very problematic and you know conflicting that you know really just kind of made you want to have some kind of rebirth and get your life back together in the future i see the three of discs so you're definitely going to be moving toward you know some kind of cooperation here with mind body and spirit or with some you know people that you would consider to be like a support team they're coming through and they're going to help you you know maybe meet up with someone or um if you're with somebody, you guys are going to be, you know, just trying to navigate how you can work together better and effectively so that, you know, you can have some success and things can, you know, become stable and balanced and, you know, y'all can be able to experience peace together. The advice is the Queen of Wands is to take action, you know, be confident, uh, know that you're magnetic. If you're single, you, you can attract anything it is you want and manifest that. For those of you that are in a relationship, you know, is saying that, you know, you need to go get it and, you know, make the effort. Uh, you know, know that this person finds you very attractive and passionate. And, you know, that, that goes for you singles, too, that there are people out there, but you're going to have to make the movement and make the action. Nothing's just going to fall into your lap. And what's influencing then what you're going through right now is the Seven of Wands, Virgo. So you guys have your guard up. You've probably been defensive and it's because of probably some things that have happened maybe in the past that, you know, you've made the effort and they've, you know, been losing battles. But now Spirit is saying that you're in the best position to really have what it is you really wanted a long time ago. Now is the time to, you know, 
attract that mag uh you know magnify your intensity out here and to basically shine bright and that you know what you're attracting and what you want to attract you're ultimately attracting each other and what you hope for is the sun which is leo energy that you know you and this person you'll be able to open up your heart space and enjoy success and happiness and you know the clarity and knowing that you know you don't have to keep fighting and being defensive and searching for love and that you you have somebody that you can grow and expand with and in the future is the strength card more leo energy i don't know if any of you virgos are dealing with leos but it's strong leo energy here with the strength and this connection that you know is going on for the next two weeks is strengthening and it's you know very strong and spirit is basically telling you to you know show compassion towards this connection and towards you know if you're single the idea of having this kind of connection because the healing you've done has brought a lot of power to you know you and you know you going into a more peaceful state of mind after you know falling back for a while and trying to you know basically keep to yourself it's really made you a very stronger person and you're more equipped to handle the type of love that you're wanting and you've really been thinking about it and you know you've been probably a little confused and trying to figure out you know what exactly it is that's real than what's not but you want a soulmate ultimately somebody that you feel like you have a strong tie to and that's great um it looks like if you're involved with somebody that the connection is going to intensify for you guys um i'm going to go ahead and pull a little clarity for you virgo i want to see what exactly is this four of disc here at the heart of the reading what is this four of discs for Virgo or anyone dealing with them? Why are they holding back? What's, what's being restricted at this time? So the chariot, cancer energy, moving forward and finding balance with an opposing force. Um... So it's kind of like when an immovable object meets an unstoppable force. Are you going to go forward or are you going to go backwards? Well, you're you're wanting to move forward, but you're, you know, kind of stuck. And, you know, you're going to, if you don't move, the universe is going to move you because we have the tower at the bottom of the deck. Uh, what's intended for you, you know, we consider that our purpose. Your purpose is to move forward, even if you are moving forward slowly and steadily. You're not going to be able to hold back for long because you, you know, you desire to have victory. You desire to be able to have that balance with somebody that's your other half that, you know, reflects the good and the bad that you both kind of project with each other and share. And ultimately, you know, you or this person is moving in, even if it's not going to, you know, be the fastest pace, but everything's moving in the right direction as it should. So, you know. Stay optimistic, stay happy, you know, radiate that energy, you know, stay optimistic, you know, always know that success wants you. Uh, some of you guys are dealing with a Leo, I'm, I swear, like, that. This is, that's the third Leo card, so I know what you Virgos got going on, but some of you have some Leo heavy in your chart or someone you're dealing with is Leo. Anyway. So what is the Eight of Wands here for Virgo? Spirit, tell me what the Eight of Wands here for Virgo. So the three, of, the Two of Wands just popped out. So it's about making a decision. You're at a crossroads and you know that, you know, the person or somebody you're dealing with, they may not be, you know, in the closest vicinity to you right now, but you know that one of you guys um, are going to have to make that move. And I don't know if that's it, with it traveling or, you know, just, physically reaching out but um or electronically reaching out but you're definitely you know thinking about it and planning and you're trying to figure out how to I guess make your next move your best move and to get out of this self-sabotage energy 
and see things for what they really are because you're confused right now. So the Six of Swords. Spirit, tell me more about Virgo Six of Swords. What's going on with their Six of Swords? So we have the Ten of Cups. So yeah, you're moving into an energy of wanting complete happiness and you know having that happily ever after that you know people make fairy tales about and stuff. And it's like you're ultimately you know knowing that's what you deserve and that's what you desire. Uh, you've been through some hurtful things in the past. You may have dealt with maybe even some third party connections that you know had you just in grief and sadness and you're realizing that you want and deserve better and you're getting over that you've healed from that and now you're getting and you know accepting the open mind to really make that a reality and reverse nine of swords come out of this nine of swords moment that you were experiencing yeah if you're healing you are facing your fear or you faced your fears and you know that you know, you deserve to be able to sleep good at night without having to worry about, you know, the things that you used to worry about in the past. And you're ultimately going to get that. So, Spirit, tell me more about the three of discs that's going to be in the future for Virgo. What's the three of discs for Virgo? I'll take it. So, the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. So there's going to be somebody that, you know, or something, a connection that you may have that is from the past. Um, someone from the past, maybe, or someone you have a past connection that you feel like you go deep with them. You, they may be someone new, but you feel like you've always known them. Well, ultimately, you know, whatever this is, is, you know, the hard work you've put in is manifesting you a really really nurturing and caring love connection with somebody that will have you surrendering to love and you'll be surrendering to love they'll surrender to love and you'll be very um intuitive and know this person when you feel them because like i said you feel like this connection goes deep you can feel it under the surface and above you're gonna be manifesting something really beautiful with this person and you're going to be well connected to them and their energy it's going to be a lot of harmony and growth and creativity that this person brings and ultimately you guys are going to work together and you're gonna um really just emotionally fulfill each other because the you both will be emotionally stable and the work you've done in the past will you know have paid off that to, to bring you and this person together and connect you guys so, Spirit, tell me more. Uh oh. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. What's up with the Seven of Wands? Why is that influencing Virgo's last two weeks of November? This Seven of Wands energy. So, the Hermit, which is Virgo. Justice, the 11 card, and the seven of swords. So, yeah, there's been some sneaky things that, you know, you've had to cut out of your life and, you know, really bring into uh, the light here and release it because you're planning on having something fair in the future and you don't need anything that's going to have you off balance and having to worry about watch, having to watch your back. You are, you know, trying to, to learn how to let your guard down and you don't need anybody shady or sneaky to come in, you know, have you just having to be back in fear and worry again. And that's why you're in that seven of wands energy for the next two weeks. You're on the lookout on high alert for any kind of BS. Uh oh, a three of pentacles came out. Anyway, I can't. I think the sun is pretty self-explanatory, but I want to know about your future and strength for the next two weeks. What strength got going on for Virgo for the rest of this month here? Why are they going to be in the strength in the outcome for the last two weeks? So Aquarius energy, the star, remaining hopeful, not you know giving up 
staying connected to your dreams and what it is you want to manifest. You know, some of you guys may be in the center of attention and getting a lot of, you know, people that are making you build your confidence and heal and know that you, you know, you have what it takes to have this new passionate start because this is your strength. This is your flame. Like you're really taking initiative to have a creative and passionate, you know, love. And ultimately, you you know, you're going to wait for it and you're not going to rush it. But you know that this is probably going to come quick, the new flame. And you're preparing yourself for it as you're in this in-between, you know, uh, stage. And you're trying to change your perspective from what it was in the past when things, you know, seem to be blocking out your love blessings and you were having the worst of luck. You're manifesting and waiting on someone that's a strong soulmate connection. This is the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate card when I see it. And that's what you're wanting. You want somebody that you feel deeply connected with that makes you have like that childlike energy that, you know, is innocent and, you know, brings that nostalgia of the good old days. And you're wanting somebody that can, you know, make your dreams come true and you make their dreams come true and you find balance every time you guys meet up and, you know, experience each other. So I'm going to give you a little bit of Southern Oracle message. Um, this is one of my favorite little decks. You guys know I'm from Georgia. So I just had one fly out for you. It's a storm blowing up. That's kind of like the tower card and tarot for me when I see it because it's about strong momentum, sudden change, necessary shakeup, transformation, hope. Um, you know, there's a lot of things we can't control and eventually we can hold out forever. But what God or the universe has for us, what our, you know, spirit tribe has for us, it's going to eventually show and, you know, it's going to happen for us just living in the moment, you know, just also showing appreciation for the present. Things may be a little bored right now because we have one horse town. And that's about, you know, somebody being small-minded and need to branch out and be a little open-minded, move on from some things in the past. And, you know, basically just starting out anew and, you know, branching out, expanding your mind, expanding it. Um, and also catching lightning bugs, which is um, about happiness, everyday magic, childhood pleasures. Um, you know, wander a secret wish. Um, the bottom of the deck, you know, it's just this this little card. That ain't true. Grits ain't groceries. Um, that's kind of self explanatory. Um, it's you know about believing it, trusting in the process, watch for signs, trusting your intuition, knowing the real deal when you see it. Um, and being able to you know spot shade or shady people. You know, I understand your need to be conscious and hold back. There's no need for that to you know stop because you need to just trust your intuition if that's what you're being led to do do that for those of you that are in a relationship you know it may be that you may you're wanting or needing to spend some time for yourself and to just you know communicate that to your partner and don't leave them out there wondering and worried so that is what i have for you guys virgo um that'll be you, for the next two weeks, you know, November 14th through the 30th, uh, if you guys like the video, like it, please subscribe. Also, comment down below if it resonates. I'll be back in a few weeks or in a week or two. I'm still in the process of moving, but I wanted to get out there and get you guys something. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.